right, good day everyone. So today we'll be talking about geometric distribution. So how to apply geometric distribution? So a geometric experiment is a probability experiment if it satisfies the following requirements. So take note of these four requirements in order for you to apply geometric distribution. The first one is that each trial has two outcomes that can be either success or failure. Second one, the outcomes are independent of each other. And the third one is the probability of success is the same of each trial. And the last one is the experiment continues until a success is obtained. So take note of these uh, uh, requirements that would satisfy in order for us to use geometric distribution. So the formula for geometric distribution is, is if P is the probability of success and each trial a binomial experiment and N is the number of trial at which the first success occurs, then the probability of getting the first success on the N trial is the probability of N is equal to probability times 1 minus P raised to N minus 1 where N is either 1, 2, 3. So therefore, so we have to take note of this, this, for this formula. So Pn is equal to the probability of success times the quantity of 1 minus the probability of success raised to n minus 1. So let us have example number 1. A coin is toes. Find the probability of getting the first head on the third toes. So we have here... A coin is toes to find the probability of getting the first head and the first third toes. So the formula for this one, first, we need to identify what is RP, the probability of success. The probability of success when you toss a coin is one half, of course, because head over head or tail, so one half. So the sample space is two, and the probability that you will get the first head is one. So the probability of success is equal to one half. So it stated that the, in the problem that getting the first head on the third toes is three. So therefore, this is our n is equal to three because in the third toes you need to get the first head on the third toes. So we have here the probability of getting three first head on the third toes is equal to probability of success times 1 minus p raised to n minus 1. So the probability of success is 1 half, 1 minus the probability of success minus 1 half raised to n, which is 3 minus 1. So this is 1 half times 1 half, 1 minus 1 half raised to 2. So therefore, if we're going to compute this one, 1 fourth times 1 of this 1 over 8. So the probability that you will get uh, the first head on the third toes is 1 over 8. So we could simplify that one in a manual computation or by, by computing in a fundamental principle, which is by multiplying all the probabilities. If we're, going, if we're not going to use the formula, it's okay. But still, I introduced this formula for you to have easy way to understand the problem. So if we're going to make use of the fundamental principle or by just uh, manual computations or not using the formula or traditional way, so we have here, there are, if we're going to have third toes, so we have here, the first toes is probability of not getting the head. So, so one half. Next one is not probability, uh, probability of not getting a head. And the last one is first head on the third toes. Still the same probability if this is tail and this one, the next one is tail and this is head. So in the third toes, you get the probability of getting head on the third toes. So therefore, this is 1 over 8. So same result with using the formula of geometric distribution. So this is the concept on how you're going to use Okay, the number is So 1 half, 1 half, 1 half is equal to 1 eighth. So there, this 
does not differ to the formula or our way say of the number niya star. Okay? So let's have example number two. In the United States, approximately 42% of people have type A blood. If four people are selected at random, find the probability that the fourth person is the first one selected with type A blood. So first, we need to find the probability of success here. So the probability of success, since this is geometric, it's understood that this is geometric because uh, it's stated in the uh, geometric distribution requirements that the, the experiment continues until a success is obtained. And this one is the probability of success is the same for each trial and the outcomes are independent of each other. And each trial has two outcomes that can either be success or failure. So if we're going to take note, the experiment continues until a success is obtained. So in this case, it is in a fourth person is one selected with type A blood. So the probability of success here is this one. Approximately, this is people have type A blood, which is 42% or 0.42. And we have here our end. So this is find the probability that the fourth person, so therefore, this is the value for our end. We need, need to uh, find the probability on the fourth person, so therefore, this is 4. By using the formula, Pn is equal to P times 1 minus P and minus 1. So, we have here the 0 0.42, 1 minus 0 0.42 times which is 4 minus 1. So 0 0.42, then 0 0.58 raised to 3. If we're going to compute this one, this is approximately, so we have 0 0.0819 or approximately 0 0.082. So this is the answer, 0 0.082. And if we're going to use our uh, one mole of the number style, so we could have this one as the probability since we're, we are we are look for the success in type A blood. So we need that to find for or the complement of type A blood, which is the percentage that you will not get the type A blood is 0 0.58 or 58%. So therefore, there are four in the fourth person, therefore, in the first case, so this is 0 0.58, that you will not get a type A blood because you are choosing four people. So then the second one is 0 0.58, not choosing the type A blood, which is the opposite of 42%, which is the success. And 0 0.58, the third person, which is not a type A blood. And the fourth person is stated here that the fourth person is the one selected with type A blood. So therefore, this is the fourth person that success is 0 0.42. If we're going to multiply that one, the result of this one is 0 0.0819. Okay, same result with using the formula of geometric distribution. So this is the concept by example number two. Okay, so we are now in example number three. So a company makes a tool such that 99% of these tools are not defective. Tools are selected at random and tested. What is the probability that the second selected tool is the first to be non-defective? So first, we need to find for the success. The success here is, so since that 99% is not defective, so what we are looking into is what is the probability that the second tool is the first to be non-defective okay so the first tool is non-defective so therefore so we could have the probability of success is 0 0.99 and since the second selected tool so therefore this is our n is equal to 2 so the probability of using geometric distribution the probability is 0 0.99 times 1 minus 0 
raised to 2 minus 1. So therefore, this is 0 0.99 and the result of this one is 0 0.01. So the probability that you will get the second tool is the first to be non-defective is 0 0.0099. Okay, so in this qu in this problem, example number three, so what is the probability that the second tool is the first to be non-defective? So non-defective. So here, the company makes such that 99% of these tools are not defective. Okay, are not defective. So first, meaning to say, in the first... Uh, random selection so in the first row is of course this is the opposite if this is not defective is 99% the opposite is 0 0.01 so therefore in the first row is 0 0.01 and the second row which is non-defective or not defective is 0 0.99 so if we're going to multiply that one so we have here 0 0.0099 so this is an example number three. I hope you learned from those examples one, two, three, and you have to try this one at home. So these two ex uh, examples or two problems, uh, solve it one and uh, present this one by next meeting, or you have going to submit one in our class. Okay, so thank you so much for listening for geometric distribution.